Who? Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. <laughs> wow, that's so cheesy. Uh, but guys, I have basically seen all your comments, I have received your emails, and literally your thousands and thousands of requests. Um, and I'm basically here to deliver. I am here just for you. Um, but guys, if you don't know me, my name is Samuel Dada, and I'm a PhD student at Cambridge University um, in the most amazing college, enjoy my research in the best lab ever, and I want the same for you. So, I have decided to basically create a series of videos essentially taking you through the whole graduate or postgraduate application process. From writing your CV, to sending that all important email to a potential supervisor that you want to work with, to the interview process. Um, I am no expert by any means, but I am basically going to use my experience of what I have learnt um, to essentially help you. So, we've got this, we can do this, so... Let's go! Ooh. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, just before we get straight down to business, because we do want to get straight down to business, I just want to remind you guys to please subscribe to my channel, push that notification bell to be reminded of any content I release, give me a thumbs up, press that like button, comment down below if there's anything you want to see some more of on my channel, and also you can follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with what I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis as a PhD student at Cambridge University. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So this video is essentially going to be guiding you through my top tips uh, in terms of getting the best out of yourself during a PhD interview. Um, I've actually created a video already of um, my PhD interview experience and within that video I've already given you know top tips and tricks and just basically given all my ideas from um, the experiences that I've already had um, previously so I'm gonna leave that link in the description below so I'm not going to be doing the same thing in this video I'm basically gonna just be giving you the quick fire um, tips and guides to basically getting the best out of yourself during a PhD interview um, so if you want to get more in-depth detail in terms of um, you know questions that might be asked of you um, then you should have a look at that video and it will be in the description down below um, so as you guys know a PhD interview is very very stressful and it's been a while since I've been through that you know it's been quite a few years now I'd say about two years since I went through that whole experience and I went through that experience two years running so yeah let's just get straight down into it so my first top tip is make sure you prepare ahead of time um, there is nothing like not being prepared for the interview so I think it's very very important for you to make sure you prep all your materials ahead of time whether it might be you have to give a presentation for that interview you have to review um, basically um, maybe an article that they have sent to you make sure you prepare for all of those way ahead of time give yourself enough time there is nothing like rushing if you rush to do it you're not going to get the best out of yourself for it and it's important for you to give yourself enough time because then you can practice and have mock interviews with maybe some of your supervisors or some of your colleagues that you're working with um, so it's very very important for you to prepare ahead of time so that's my first top tip my second top tip is that make sure you prepare for the general generic questions that they're gonna ask you so you can find all these general generic questions on findaphd.com i have done that in my other videos as well so make sure you already prepare for those questions because if you prepare for those questions the hard hitting questions are not going to punch you right in the face and hit you too hard that you're just like omg what do i do so make sure you have that already way ahead of time as well then my third tip is make sure you read your personal statement beforehand um, there is nothing 
like them asking you a question about what you've written or your personal statement or what you're included in your CV and you just can't answer it. I think that is basically a deal breaker for you. So make sure you read your personal statement and make sure you delve into your personal statement and pick out possible questions that might be asked from you based on what you've actually given them. You know, so make sure you do that. The fourth tip I have is make sure you know and research all about the program you're applying for or the project you're applying for uh, because they're going to be asking you direct questions whether it's knowledge based questions about that program you're applying for what they're all about and the reasons why you're applying for it and that goes hand in hand with the projects that you're applying for make sure you have all the background knowledge that um, all the background knowledge that basically compasses that project that you're applying for so you can answer the questions that may be asked of you um, in a very diligent and well um, kind of composed manner Another tip is that you should read basically relevant literature, whether it may be to the um, project that you're applying for or to a past project you've, that you've done already, because this is something they could basically ask you. And make sure you keep up to date with the literature um, regarding all the research projects that you've been involved in that you've probably um, written on your personal statement. I think it's very important for you to always touch upon that. Another tip, is um, I think I need to stop saying another tip so another advice for you is that basically make sure you prepare at least two questions ahead of time that you would like to ask the panelist um, I think this just shows a lot of engagement and a lot of thought so make sure you prepare it there's nothing worse than them asking you do you have any questions for us and you being like no actually I don't um, because that actually shows that you're not actually really interested in the project uh, that you're applying for or the program you're applying for everyone must have a question and when you're in that high stress environment it's very difficult for you to come up with a question on the spot so I think it's very important for you to basically Think of a question ahead of time that you would like to ask them. Another tip and advice I have for you guys, which is a very important one. I think some people might have different opinions about this, but I think it's very important for you to be as honest as you possibly can. If you don't know an answer to a question, please do not make up an answer on the spot because you would dig yourself into a hole and that hole is a hole that you might not be able to get out of and then you might just start making stuff up so make sure you're as honest as possible if you don't understand a question or you don't have an answer to the question answer to the question one ask them maybe can you please repeat that question one more time or two if you don't have an answer or you don't know the answer to the question just basically humbly basically say I am so sorry I don't have an answer to that question but it's something I would definitely consider in the future and it's something I would definitely think about um, going forward so it's very important for you to always be honest always be very honest and I think that would show um, the panelists um, kind of the type of person you are in terms of your integrity and I think it's very good to basically just be honest if you don't basically have an answer to the question um, then finally I would just like to also encourage you to basically go into that interview with confidence in yourself and in your abilities um, because at the end of the day they're going to be asking you about you know your own research and there is no one that knows more about your research than yourself um, except you know you're going for a specific project and the project kind of aligns with the same project that you've previously done then maybe so or if you're going for a direct project interview um, then yeah it might be a different case but all in all just go in with confidence and believe in yourself and your abilities and you should be fine just be calm and be at peace hey guys I know I'm frozen and everything but I thought I should add this one last key tip before we end this video um, and 
I know I've given you loads of tips and you know guides and information about how my interview experiences have gone um, however there's one thing that you can't prepare for and it's just the unexpected um, there are some questions that are just kind of out of the blue that you may be asked but my key tip in terms of handling these questions is just to take your time in terms of answering it don't rush into it take your time to answer those questions um, an example for example for me was when I was at Imperial I had this interview and one of the questions one of the panelists asked of me was um, why are you not staying in your old lab if everything is going great I mean that's not a question I expect to be answering because essentially I am applying for this program but why are you asking me why I'm not staying in my old lab you know like questions like that and sometimes they do give you like scenarios and put you in scenarios like giving you money and how you're gonna spend that money and those are things that you can't prepare for so that's why I say you should expect the unexpected um, of questions sometimes they might just delve into like a random world and all this is is just to try and understand your thought process um, essentially so expect the unexpected and don't be kind of thrown off by it um, yeah let's get back uh, but guys, that is it for me, um, from me, uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel, push that notification button, give me a thumbs up, like this video and then comment down below if there's any um, things that you have to say or you have to add or any comments you have for me or any things that you would like to include, you would like me to include in my channel. So guys, uh, basically all the best in your interviews, stay blessed, keep dreaming big and keep being inspired and everything will be fine with you um so yeah guys take care and i'll see you in the next video goodbye